just got haircuts. I wanted to do a super fun little jump cut where it was a before and after. I'd be like, we're gonna go get a haircut. Snap or clap or something and then bam, short hair. I filmed the before and then I accidentally deleted it. So that doesn't work. Fail number one for the day. Anyway, haircut's done. We're gonna grab some lunch, hit the road so we can fly the drone because it's actually kind of a decent day today. We have arrived at our filming location. We're at a lake, a beautiful lake here today. Maybe do a little bit of skateboarding. It's gonna be super fun. I'm pumped. It is kind of cold. It's a little bit cold. I got gloves on because it's still quite cold. <laughs> golf game. Little bit off. we had to come back in the car blast the heat and try to like warm up our hands are actually frozen it's I'm not even joking it is like zero degrees Celsius outside right now it's insane it should not be this cold in April oh so cold is how you're supposed to catch the Mavic Air. I tried to catch the Mavic Air next, but not like that. So this is when things went horribly wrong. If you guys are squeamish by blood, stop watching right now. Cause um, I went to catch the drone because you can, you can catch the drone, the old one. This one supposedly you can catch it, but you have to flip it over right away. I didn't flip it over right away. And it, it did this, it did this. It hurts really, really badly. I'm not entirely sure if it's broken, but it just sliced my finger and it's dripping like crazy. It hurts so bad. That's my blood. Let's get the car. I'm dripping blood all over the sidewalk. I am in an excruciating amount of pain right now. It's it's bad. It hurts severely, severely bad. I've been crying a lot. I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm in a lot of pain. We're currently driving to Missouri. There's the arch. See the pretty arch right there? Um, because we were um, pretty deep into Illinois. And uh, I, my medical insurance doesn't actually cover anything in Illinois. So we're driving to Missouri, so it's been about, what, like an hour and a half? Two hours? I feel like I'm gonna vomit, because I'm in so much pain. Um, we're going to an Urgicare to see if they can, I, I don't know if I need stitches, I don't know if it's broken, I'm not really sure. This is definitely not how today's vlog was supposed to go. It was supposed to be super fun, just flying a drone around, but that's not life, is it? It's not. Oh, that's a sharp pain. Okay, I'm gonna go. I went to the urgent care. Uh, a nurse practitioner looked up my finger and said she can't help me because I sliced the dip off my finger, apparently. Um, yeah, that's why it hurts so freaking bad. And now I'm being sent to the ER. So we're gonna go to the ER and see if they can help me. So I'm in the ER. I just had an x-ray and the doctor is gonna come in and tell me if my finger's broken and what to do. This is not how I pictured my Saturday going. Did you? <laughs> not so it's actually to the point where it's funny now because this is just the most ridiculous story ever. It's been about three hours now. I'm currently soaking my finger in some saline. It's not broken, so that's good. Uh, just waiting, waiting to have it cleaned off. I got a tetanus shot, got some antibiotics and some meds. 
really tired and I can't stop thinking about the fact that a bunch of my blood is still at the lake. That's gross. I hope it rains soon. I got it all bandaged up and I'm heading home. Basically, I just have to wait for it to heal. They can't do any stitches or anything like that because I just essentially cut the entire tip off. It's just the tip, it's just the skin, it didn't go down to the bone. So just a couple weeks of bandages like this and an awesome story. I'm home. It's been an insane day, guys. Who would have thought when I left this morning to go flap my drone for the first time, I would have had to spend three hours in the emergency room. I didn't, but that's what happened. Um, this is funny. I'm at the stage now where I'm not in excruciating pain that I find this whole thing hilarious. This is a great story that I will be telling forever now because my nurses tonight in the emergency room were like, you realize this is an incredible story. This is gonna be a great icebreaker. Literally everyone I went to in the emergency room, the x-ray technician, uh, the guy who's checking my vitals, the nurses, the doctor, they're all just like, you did what now? <laughs> and I'm like, yep, slice my finger off. Not my finger, oh my God, could you imagine? No, slice the tip of my finger off with drone propellers. They all thought it was insane and funny and just a great story. So I'm going to be telling this forever. Let me just explain what happened if it wasn't clear. I went to go grab the drone out of the air because you can do that. You can do that with the old drone and you can do it with this new one. But the problem with the new one is there's sensors on the bottom. So if you get close to it to grab it and you don't get it right away and like flip it upside down, the sensors recognize an object moving towards it and speed up the propellers. And that's what happened. I didn't get a good grip on it. The propeller sped up just sliced the tip of my finger off and I was bleeding everywhere. I was in so much pain. I was literally like crying the whole way to the hospital. It took like an hour and a half to get to the hospital because my insurance, I have to go all the way to Missouri. And I was like in the middle of Illinois. But anyway, um, the nurses in the ER were awesome. They were hilarious. Um, they were really cool. I liked them. They were fun. But they gave me a tetanus shot, x-ray. I, I, it's not broken or anything. I got pain meds, antibiotics, and um, I basically just have to wait for my skin to grow back. So I have to keep it wrapped for about two weeks and then just be on antibiotics so it doesn't get like infected. And that's it. So not how I was hoping the first drone video to go, but this is essentially what happened. Will I go fly the drone again? Of course, I just bought it and I, I need to get my money's worth. Will I try to catch it out of the air? Probably not. I say maybe if I could figure out how to do it, but probably not, this this was terrifying. I, I just, I don't, I don't want this to happen again because this sucks. There's actually like the tip of my finger part of it is still attached and like she didn't want to take it off to expose the tissue underneath so there's just like a little bit of like tip of my finger hanging off and it's super gross and I can't look at it every time I look at my finger I like I want to throw up it's disgusting I'm gonna put a picture up now if you do want to see it I'm gonna warn you it's super bloody and it's gross so I'm gonna put it up right now if you don't want to look at this like skip ahead a couple frames okay here it is okay <laughs> yeah it's it's gross it's super nasty I don't even want to look at it but hopefully it'll heal properly I might get a really sick scar from it I don't know um anyway I'm completely completely exhausted it has been like the longest day ever tomorrow I'm going to the symphony to see Harry Potter they're playing Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban so I'm incredibly excited about that I will be vlogging it so you guys know the drill if you like the video give it a giant thumbs up help me out because my pinky is just look at this sad little guy Oh, um, make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you will be notified whenever there's a brand new video because there are new videos coming to you the rest of the month every single day which is insane even on days that I have to go to the emergency room I will upload videos so make sure you're subscribed all right guys I will talk to you tomorrow bye